is up. Time's at hand. Hi, I'm Wade Spencer. I'm an avid outdoorsman who travels the country hunting, fishing, and singing. And this is my show, On Life's, Life's Highway. Highway. Give me a gun with no bullets to shoot a squirrel. <laughs> there is hope with every turn. If you love the great outdoors and some good gospel music, then friend, you've come to the right place. Come and join me now as we travel down life's highway. Keeps a lot of fish on this tree. It goes dead for a while in the summer, but it's come back to life in the last two weeks. That's the thing about fishing for this property, like about anything else, I guess. They come and go and they move around. All kinds of things dictate what they do, where you find them. But really, that's part of the fun. When I find them, start catching them, that's, man, that's the reward. Here's my first fish for the day. It's the middle of the day, 1.30. It's the first fish and fish in a tree I just found. I've never fished before. He's a dandy. You set the hook on these, you can feel that weight. You know you got a good crappie. Gotta let him. Well, I broke off another jig. When you get around these trees, you break off a lot of jigs. I've caught eight today. Got some real nice ones. 74 water temperature. It's the 30th of September, which is my dad and mom, uh, dad and mom's anniversary. 55. How many years it could be? 1955. 65, 85, 85, 85, 85. 64 years. Woo. Long time. I told my wife this morning, I said, you know, I can tell you what I did 40, I think it was 43 years ago, I told her. 77. 42 years ago today. I was driving a concrete mixer for Jennings Concrete in Norwalk. And one of the other drivers, my buddy Randy Nikolai, he said, I'm gonna see if we can get off this afternoon because everything's slow. And see if we can go to Lake Erie. We went to Lake Erie and I believe if I remember right, we caught 119 perch. Something like that, it was a bunch. And I don't, oh man, where's my jigs? I don't think I've actually been purposely perch fishing since in Lake Erie. I get sick on Lake Erie and I just don't fish it much. That's the reason you see me in the backwaters and these small lakes around home. <laughs> That's the reason. I've been fishing over on the shady side of the lake all day. I mean, I didn't get here until noon. But now I'm gonna hit a couple trees over here and I'm in the sun and it's hot. Although it's September 30th, it's in the, I think 86 gonna be today. But in two days, in two days, it's supposed to be down in the high 60s. So we better enjoy this weather while we've got it. Me and Matt went over and put some stands up yesterday. So we're getting ready for that cool weather to come in for deer season. But he said it's hard to get me off the lake from crappie fishing to go bow hunting. Now there's some truth to that, but I still like it. I'm gonna run back over to the shady side of this lake. It's hot over here. You wouldn't think September the 30th would be 86 degrees, but it is. Very little breeze. 
So I'm gonna scoot back across the lake. Feels like air conditioning here. Just a few. We all prayed around the sacred altar. Conviction fell on sinners, and the Holy Spirit grew. Oh, the little white church house where I was raised. I got washed in the blood, redeemed by. Cathedral on the ground below. Oh, the little white church house where he saved my soul. The bright piano and the sound of guitar string. Amazing grace, and I'm learning. The preacher preached the heart of fiery sermon, and he gave the invitation, whosoever be made clean. Oh, the little white church house where I was raised, I got washed in the blood, redeemed by grace, a country cathedral. gravel it's paved today and that church is no longer white it's red brick but what I learned about Jesus and how I could trust in him as my personal savior and have the promise and the hope of eternal life that has never changed it's even since 1969 and it never will change and I'm thankful for that because that's where I put all my hope is in Jesus Christ he's going to take me to heaven one of these days Yeah. 
gdzieś. Special meeting at our church tonight, a special service. We're having the evangelists come in. We're going to be playing in the band tonight. We want everybody to be there, so we've got to quit early today. sing some songs for my newest album. Here's how I'll find it. Some glad morning when this life is over I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore I'll fly away I'll fly away Oh glory I'll fly away When I die Hallelujah by and by Of this life it grown I'll fly away Like a bird from prison bars has flown
being on the road traveling all my life, I am not a morning person. But there's a couple things that'll get me out of bed early. It's fishing and hunting. <laughs> Here I am, a foggy morning. But man, it's beautiful out. I'm looking forward to catching some crappie. First fish of the day. and I for a couple days been in West Virginia and uh, down in Buchanan yesterday morning singing and, and, uh, at the south of Buchanan Mission Church and then last night we was at the Calvary Temple in Fairmont, West Virginia with our friends Pastor Tim Shuttlesworth and his wife Gwen so I told him he was going to come and fish with me this week hopefully or next so I said I'd let him know what's going on I said I'm going to go check him so this is my first pitch like the whites are moving in. Look at that beautiful white crappie. Not all we've been catching for the last three weeks is blacks. There's white crappie we out in the lake and the blacks are on the banks. And we start catching a few of these pinos. Kind of starting to change over a little bit. Then they intermix for a while up into Thanksgiving, seemed like. But up, up in that later part of November, you're catching about beautiful white crappie right there. Kind of odd to see a white crappie. <laughs> Smack there and I missed him. It's beauty. Not as big as the one that I was catching, but they're still nice. <laughs> that one really, that one really fooled me. You didn't hardly tell if that was a fish or not. There's a dandy. Wow. Right up by the boat. October the 8th, 2019. 
I'm on my home lake here in Ohio. Caught 20, really nice crappie today. Using a jig, pink and green jig. And I started switching over today from the cast and drag to start to dip more straight down. Not straight, but close to the boat, letting it go down. Lifting it up. So it's starting to switch from cast and drag throwing it out, dragging it around and cranking it back in to just throwing it a short distance, letting it go down. I'm in about 14 feet of water today, which is not that deep. But it's starting to switch over, so. Gotta take some pictures of a nice stringer of crappie like this. of earth no longer matter on that morning when the skies are split and saints are called away but most of all I want to be among that number the bride of Christ set apart in white array and most of all I want to look upon the master and sing praises when at last the battle To say I've kept the faith And most of all I want to hear him say Well done Everything down here Will dim And lose its value When compared To all the glory We're gonna behold but most of all, just to look upon the Master We'll make it heaven if there were no streets of gold Most of all, I want to look upon the Master And sing praises when at last the battle's won I want to know I've run the race Hear Jesus say I've kept the faith And most of all I want to hear Him say Well done I want to know I've run the race Hear Jesus say I've kept the faith You gonna throw you, you gonna throw him in the skillet, not the lake, right? <laughs> Dark green color, man. He looks yeah. Hey, I mean, my cousin Paul are out doing some perch fishing today on an above ground reservoir. We're having a big time. See people on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. And seem like the fish are just comfortable. See, I'm holding it. You try to hold it by the mouth, it goes crazy. He's a, about a nine incher, isn't he, Paul? Probably. There's actually a scale on this top of it. That's the first keeper of the day. You know, we're finally in a little pocket of perch here, aren't we? We had a struggle for the last hour and a half. Yep.
What are you afraid of? Flip him back out there in the flip him back out there in the lake. Let me see you catch him again. If you lose him, it won't be no big deal. <laughs> He is hooked in the roof of the mouth, so. Yep. Let me see him there. Let me get some video of him. Right. That's a good perch. Beautiful. Nice. Yep. See how broad that thing is now? Yep, that's what we're looking for. Paul, tell me about that one that hit the side of the boat. I didn't want to hear about that. I had that gut feeling I was going to lose that. Nice one I had a hold of. Was that a, the smallest of the day or your biggest of the day? <laughs> had to be the biggest <laughs> of the day. Isn't that the way it goes? Yeah, just one little slap aside the boat, it, it went off, didn't it? Crazy. No wonder you stay mad, Paul. It's heartbreaking. You know it? Yeah, I know. I <laughs> had enough to bite nails. <laughs> <laughs> Got every right in the world to be mad. Reservoir perch fishing. We live right by Lake Erie and fishing on a little 999 acre reservoir, Paul. Does that make sense, really? <laughs> Why not? You know what? We don't get seasick out here on this, these reservoirs. Or drive an hour or better if you don't have to, too. Yeah, I agree. I guess we'll turn this one loose. Paul says it ain't big enough. <laughs> He won't be still, man. That's what we're looking for, Paul, right there. I believe it. Yeah, that's a nice perch. Good eating size. Isn't that beautiful? But it's good color or better than like here. Yeah, they're beautiful. Slung the jig right out. You want to eat him, Paul? I don't care. They're well, very, you don't want them. They're very good. Yeah. You ever ate them? Oh yeah, we ate them. Teresa said I took a mess from Lake Erie one time. She said it's the best fish you ever brought here. There is hope with every turn. A bridge to build. A bridge to burn. Here's praying you will never go astray. Life's highway